Now, if you're on the age pension, obviously your, your income will be lower than maybe it was when you were earning in the workforce. How does that... Is that a, a different scenario again? Uh, yes, the age pension, all the announcements about it from the May budget really focused on all the major changes pushed out to 2017. So there's not a lot of significant changes. The one that was announced that has gone through is the increase in the age pension is going to reduce. So they're going to increase it based on the inflation rate rather than on wages and that the inflation rate is generally a lower figure than wages and so your pension over time is going to increase at a slower rate and the other thing for those people that are on government benefits and it might be the age pension it might be another benefit is that if they're over 55 you could actually make sure that you've got your superannuation money in the pension phase of super before the end of the calendar year because on the 1st of January 2015 the government is going to start to deem those pension started after that date uh, and deeming just means that the Centrelink or the, or the government assumes a certain rate of earnings on the money. Currently they, they don't do that so for those people in that scenario they're eligible for some form of government benefit starting a pension or moving as much as their, of their resources into the pension phase of superannuation before the end of the calendar year it could be advantageous over the longer term. Sounds like on something like that, it would be a good idea to talk to an advisor rather than having a guess yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. You could speak to somebody about it or or, this, or search on the internet for starters and then if you need to speak to somebody, then, then, then seek out an advisor.